chairpersons. This 28 year old farmer came for record episode in Disney. Clinical examination was normal, ECG was normal, chest x ray showed emphysema. We did a full study of the Doppler diastolic function. And mind you, Doppler diastolic function could be easily done in any individual because you need only one imaging plane. And that imaging plane is often the best imaging plane in any patient, the four chamber view. The mitral flow, pulse Doppler color Doppler, the annular movement, the pulmonary venous flow, all could be interrogated from this window. We looked at the pulse Doppler, the mitral flow velocity propagation, we looked at the annular movement and the pulmonary venous Doppler. E by A 1.5, deceleration by 160. 240 milliseconds, E settled E10, laterally 15, E by E prime 7, velocity propagation more than 50, parking venous, atrial reversal duration 100 to 140 milliseconds, mitral A duration more than parking venous A duration, parking venous systolic more than parking venous diastolic. These are the normal normal diastolic indices that you may find in a normal individual. This farm did not have any diastolic abnormality and he did have only a respiratory airway dis disease and he was sent back to the pulmonologist. Look at this man, 72 year old diabetic hypertensive. Present the great to refer this year. Hypertension, they will be normal, no signs of cardiac failure. LVH the electrocardiogram, no cardiomegaly, no LV contour, and X ray did not reveal any evidence of pulmonary venous congestion. However, his diastolic function showed the E wave has become smaller than the A wave and the diesel rich slope has become longer and you find decreased E ratio, E by E rate continue to remain normal, prolonged dissolution time, prolonged isolated relaxation time, or pulmonary venous systolic by diastolic more than one. You have early diastolic abnormality. Very much in relation to the age, there is a relaxation failure. LV compliance, lethal pressure usually normal, impaired relaxation, normal filling movement, and E by E prime is normal. But these are patients in whom you may find a reciprocal relationship of mitral inflow and permanent reveal top. You find the mitral flow patterns of an abnormality, but the reverse pattern in the in the in the in the in the pulmonary venous top line will be seen. The S wave, the systolic filling wave is more prominent than the diastolic filling wave. A mirror image is diastolic factor. You see, if you take the whole cardiac cycle, the systolic becomes prominent than the diastolic. These kind of issues may further progress with diminution of the E prime in the annular movement. With the diminution of the E prime, the annular movement decreases, resulting in E by E prime more than 50, 8 to 15 being a variable level which we will discuss shortly. So what we increase to filling pressure is E by E prime is increased. Look at this 48 year old hypertension. Admitted for still still worse, still more symptoms, great dyspnea of four days duration. They've been complaining of dyspnea since the last six months, 
साइंस अल्पी फेलर कॉन्स्टेंट एलपीएच और मनी मिनस के निजिश ही हैज ऑल साइंस ऑफ लेफ्ट हैंड फेलर वेरी एर्ली लेफ्ट हैंड फेलर ऑन फिजिकल एग्जामिनेशन यू फाइंड ए सुपर नॉर्मल पैटर्न यू टू द माइटल फ्लो वेलोसिटी यू फाइंड इट लुक नियर नॉर्मल और मैं और मैं लोग कहते हैं डिसलेशन लोग मैं प्रॉब्लमली लिटिल लिटिल फास्ट लिटिल फास्ट एंड यू फाइंड दिस इस व्हाट इस सुड नॉर्मल पैटर्न वेयर ए वेल्सल ए वेल्सल वर विल डेमोंस्ट्रेट रिग्रेशन टू एन एरियर फेज ऑफ एरियर फेज ऑफ डास्टी फंक्शन एंड वेल्सल वर मैनुअल the strain phase of valsalva manual may help you to distinguish this pseudonormal pattern as an abnormality of relaxation pseudonormal filling pattern moderate state of dysfunction dysfunction increased atrial pressure masking the abnormal relaxation decreased lv complaints e by a what to what point five e by right on and 50 dissolution time could be normal E by E prime is increased. Well, sir, it is useful. And pulmonary venous atrial reverse duration may be increased. Still, the flow where the color flow propagation velocity may remain normal. The flow, the pseudo normalization, could well be brought back as an abnormality if you can get a good quality pulmonary venous flow pattern. The mitral and the pulmonary venous traces. Then look at the one, the uh, mitral flow pattern. It looks normal, but when you look at the pulmonary venous flow pattern, the systolic is decreased and there's a remarkable increase. Remarkable increase in the diaphragmatic filling pattern. And as you go, as you go by, you may find increasing pulmonary venous atrial reverse. The severe degree of diastolic dysfunction is the next phase where the desolation slope becomes less than 160. There is a fast desolation slope with this change in the in the in the or in the pulmonary venous with this change in the mitral flow pattern. You find grossly abnormal pulmonary venous flow pattern. The 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 systolic becomes smaller. The diastolic becomes prominent. An atrial flow reversal becomes very significant. Still, what we find the flow propagation velocity is only slightly change. The slope becomes worse. The E by A more than two. Desolation time less than 160. Isolated relaxation time shortened to 70. Pulmonary venous S is less than D. E by E by more than 50. You have a restrictive filling pattern, severe form of diastolic dysfunction, impaired lung relaxation, plus reduced airway compliance, and increased airway breath. Sorry, increased airway pressure. A combination of relaxation failure and compliance failure sets in at this phase of diastolic dysfunction. And here you may find the mitral air. Velocity as well as duration becomes briefer and briefer because that period of filling in the mitral valve becomes shorter and and low velocity. At the same time, the atrial flow reversal, the pulmonary venous atrial flow reversal, becomes of longer duration and of higher velocity. Even when the left atrium is enlarged. Markedly hypokinetic and failing, the pulmonary venous air duration of flow will be more than 30 seconds longer than the abbreviated mitral air duration in this phase of cardiac failure, in this phase of diastolic dysfunction. The three phases of diastolic dysfunction could be much better appreciated in pulmonary venous flow tract traces. Unfortunately. Only in about 75% of patients, you could get a good quality pulmonary venous flow pattern, impaired relaxation, pseudo normalization, and restrictive filling. 
could all be identified if you can get a good quality power day Venus flow pattern. Looking at the E by E prime is a standard practice in the bedside in every patient who is a better day intensive care unit. But remember, patients may have pathology septum of the lateral wall and hence making an, an average of the two velocities of the annular, the medial and the lateral annulus is very important to get the correct E by E prime. It's preferred and because of the myocardial function, average central and lateral E is so important, preferred to use the, the, the averaging this two to get the correct perspective. We know that TDA parameters helps you to decide if it's E by E prime is less than 8, capital divided pressure is normal. More than 50, it's more than 20 millimeter capital divided pressure. And 8 to 15, you may have to use it. The company keeps the other features by which you decide whether the patient has dashboard dysfunction or not. It, normal subject, E prime is positively related to perineum. E prime is a reduced significant annular calcification. In process of annular calcification, it's often not useful. Surgical rings, myelin stenosis, and prosthetic metal band. In primary mortem or severe MR and normal alveolar relaxation, E prime is increased due to, due to very high annular movement, secondary to mitral ring adaptation. Response to axial metal may be useful if you want to study the single normal respective and the two phase respective pathology. When there is absolutely no change in this pattern of fast desolation stop, you find sorry this guy. Thank you. Thank you sir for the uh, very interesting clear presentation. Mm -hmm. We know that diastolic heart failure is a Why do the severe man die a relaxation of 